Welcome back to GSC Go Science Crazy. My name is Jacob, and today we're going to be using this vacuum pump to do some neat demonstrations that show the concept of air pressure. Our vacuum pump that you see here is the perfect tool for teaching about the pressure in a vacuum. It comes shipped with a length of plastic tubing which can be attached to its front and used to connect your pump to whatever vessel you'll be drawing air from. It also features a gauge measuring up to 750 milligrams of mercury or 0.1 megapascals of negative pressure. There is also a quick release valve for when you are done using your pump to create a vacuum. To perform some demonstrations with your pump, you'll need a few additional supplies, including 1. A vacuum chamber. This could be a bell jar or a vacuum flask that you buy for this purpose, or it could be made like you see here out of a simple mason jar with its lid drilled out to fit your tubing. 2. An inflated balloon. And 3. A small glass of water that will fit inside your vacuum chamber. Feel free to dye your water so you can see it better during your demonstration. For our first demonstration, we're going to place our balloon in the chamber before we seal it. Before you remove any air, the balloon's internal pressure is in equilibrium with the pressure inside of the jar. As you remove air from the pressure with your pump, you create a vacuum and lower the pressure within the chamber. Since your balloon is sealed, none of the gas inside of it can escape, meaning that its pressure stays constant. As the pressure in the chamber lowers, the pressure in the balloon causes the balloon to expand until the internal pressure reaches equilibrium again with the pressure inside of the jar. Next, for our last demonstration, we're going to be placing our water in the chamber this time instead. As you lower the pressure inside of the jar, the pressure its atmosphere was exerting on the surface of the water no longer pushes down on the water molecules. Once the pressure in the jar gets lower than what is known as the vapor pressure of the water, the water molecules will begin to escape the surface of the liquid and it will begin to boil away as a gas. Be patient when watching for this effect to take place, because you know what they say about watching water boil. This footage took place over roughly six minutes. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching GSC Go Science Crazy. And feel free to check out our website for more cool science equipment.